like it's, you know, it starts out basically the piano and then after the second time then it like crescendos on the last thing. Yes. Yes. As opposed to like we're just blasting a whole Yes. Time. <laughs> yes. So yeah, there are dynamics. Can we show the, uh, and that means rhythm section too. So, I had, uh, okay. I had written that we were gonna tag the No. What we do is we finish the tune, then you go back to the to the bop bop be and you do that three times. The third time, uh, I think Lee Morgan takes it up the octave the last time. Um, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so it's so yeah, that tag comes after the tune is completely finished. Make sense? Okay. Let's do the head again. Uh, no, let's do. Let's start the last A section and get back in. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. We had Phrygian and mode two of melodic minor, uh, and I had asked you to uh, make a uh, play along with your I real B. Did you do that? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. So you didn't work on Phrygian or mode two. I worked on my skills. I just forgot about that part of it. Oh, okay. Well, you, I want you to be applying it. Okay. Okay. Um, Yeah, just learning the scales is not. Oh, I've been like sitting down on the piano with it. I just forgot about the I real B thing. Okay, uh, we'll set up an I real B uh, with four measure segments or eight measure segments or both, mm -hmm. and uh, and then switching key uh, or switching modes, uh, uh, either around the circle or by a uh, whole step. Uh, you can switch randomly. Uh, let's sit down and figure figure something out that gives you a chance to practice applying that sound, okay? And uh, and give yourself a, a, a fair amount of room to explore the sound, mm -hmm. okay? Makes sense. Yeah. So I would say either four measures or eight measures. Okay. All right. Good. Um, well, let's just give it a shot. Do you want to play the scales for me really quick? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do a little more work playing today. Okay. All right. We'll do uh, 
start with Phrygian? Sure. Okay. since it is a mode of major scale, it has a real major sound to it, um, which is kind of curious because when you do play it uh, <coughs> off of that flat 9 sus 4 sound, it actually sounds a little darker than mm -hmm. the mode 2, because mode 2 has that extra tritone in there. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, alright, let's do mode 2. Uh, have you worked on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. skill to have but unless you can apply it mm -hmm. okay it's meaningless okay so we have to make sure that we turn around and, and start putting that into practice and uh, uh, so make yourself that that practice thing and start learning to create and make melodies out of that sound mm -hmm. uh, go listen to, to the Miles Davis Will of the Wisp uh, okay off of uh, 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 sketches of Spain mm -hmm. okay and go hear how that sound is applied Okay, um, and I love the sound. When I discovered it, it I went immediately went and started writing tunes. <laughs> it's just a sound that I'd heard before, and, and it never really clicked to me what it was. And uh, and that was kind of my way of, of working it into my playing was was I wouldn't wrote, wrote a tune with it, <laughs> right? So I get to use it. Um, anyhow, um, and that, that's something to consider. I just I found it so attractive that I was you know moved to do that. Uh, all right, good. Um, so let's move on. Put that away. Uh, move it randomly. Move it uh, by whole step. Move it by by uh, around the cycle. Uh, get to where you can, you know, plug right into that sound as soon as you hear it in different keys. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the hot house and the diminished stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you memorize the head for hot house? I started this night and memorized it. <laughs> oh, okay. I've been working on it. All right. Uh, what else have you worked on? <clears throat> I, I got the, the Kenny Dorham solo transcribed. I just didn't get to the point where I could Oh, you did? It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Have you started playing it at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me hear it. No. <laughs> it's not great, but okay. Okay. Do you want to put it with a metronome or do you want to play it with a track? Uh, I can try playing it with a track. I think that'd probably be easiest. Okay. Do you have it queued up? Yeah. Thank you. 
Um, let's get it. Uh, I want you to get this particularly with Kenny Dorman. I mean, you should do this with everybody, even going back to Louis Armstrong stuff we transcribed. Mm -hmm. uh, you really want to be getting after the nuance, mm -hmm. not just the notes. Yeah. Okay? So, and with Kenny, that's one of the reasons I gave you Kenny Dorman, is I want you to get those note bends in there and the way he lays back and delays things and and it, it's stuff that really is hard to, it, it, you can notate it, but it, it only gets in there by ear. Right. Okay? And so really be listening for, for that and, and the way he ghosts notes. Uh, there, uh, there was one arpeggiated thing I heard in there, but, yeah, guy, right? Mm -hmm. And he's, he's, he's changing the shape or the sound of the notes, okay? And so listen for that and see if you can emulate that, all right? Because it's all part of his artistic is is artistic intent, mm -hmm. okay, as to how to how to uh, add emotion and uh, uh, musical content to to what he's doing. It's not just harmonic and rhythmic. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I want you to really focus in now. Get all the notes, yeah, okay, and then I want you to go back and really try and imitate every inflection that he puts in there. I want you to get inside his head and be Kenny Dorn. Okay. You got it? Yeah. And start it slow and get it up to tempo, all right? And then write it out and notate it as best you can. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's doodling. <laughs> right, excellent. Good, good, good. Now, let's go ahead and blow. <coughs> okay? And you can extract licks from the melody. Okay, you can extract licks from other trans other transcriptions where you have altered dominance. Okay, you can start using all the stuff that we learned in Improv 2 uh, off of the diminished scale <coughs> and diminished patterns. Okay, so let's let's uh, start off by playing a chorus each and then we'll trade off and we'll see if we can start getting the, the uh, uh, minor two fives locked in with uh, scale sounds and with altering the dominance. Okay? Okay. Here we go. You got the first one. Oh, <laughs> 
choices are getting really pretty accurate mm -hmm. okay uh, the biggest thing now is what you're really going to get from the transcriptions <laughs> mm -hmm. is when to take the thing off your face mm -hmm. okay yeah. do you feel that that thing like you just don't know when to stop yeah right yeah. so take a breath <laughs> music has to breathe piano players have to breathe if they don't breathe it sounds like nonsense yeah uh, <laughs> right Okay, so uh, I get to the point where like I get comfortable with what I'm doing, and that doesn't happen a lot, so I keep going. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't make music, Casey. Yeah. It sounds uncomfortable to us as listeners. Yeah. Okay, because it doesn't always have direction; it's just continuing. Mm -hmm. So you need to start thinking. I don't want you to break everything into regular phrases. That's not the answer. Yeah. But start breathing and start having some sort of a beginning and ending to your phrases, just like you would in classical music. Mm -hmm. Right? There has to be a phrasing in there that sounds natural and it, and it takes breaths, okay? Let's practice that, all right? So we'll trade trade off back and forth. Uh, um, let's do eight measures, okay? And you can phrase it however you want to, okay? You can play the whole eight measures, you can break it into whatever, but start thinking of making phrases, okay? And then we're gonna go back and put it into a chorus. Let's do eights, okay? That, but that was good uh, because we were starting to get... Now, one of the things that you need to learn to do is not just start with a clear idea of what you want to do, but end mm. with a clear idea. So you have to learn to end phrases. And I think that's really the crux of what's happening in your longer things is that you just don't know how to end it so you keep going. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So start finding a resolution point, trying to find a way to end your phrases, Okay. And then when you hand it off to somebody to the next solo, you do the same thing. You, you, make, you try to draw it to a conclusion and leave them with something, right? Whether it's a rhythmic figure or it's a winding down to where it somehow arrives on a, on a, 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 a consonant note that leaves something for us to start with. Understand? Yeah. All right, so you don't just stop. <laughs> okay, I'm not asking that you do, you do need to learn when to take the horn out of your face, but start thinking of the end of phrases now, not just the beginning, okay? Here we go, eight measures. I'll play the first one. Thank you. 
Okay, good. So, <clears throat> trying to end phrases strongly, not letting them sort of meander. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like the triplet figure that you were doing at the end. That's something you do pretty frequently, and it leaves it uh, timid sounding. All right? You know what I'm saying? Well, what was it that I was doing? <laughs> uh, all right, it was it was sort of like you were backing away from it instead mm -hmm. of it, it was a indistinct rhythmic okay. period, and you want to be a little more literal, okay, to where it doesn't sound tentative. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, all right, here's what I want you to work on for this week with this. I want you to have the hand memorized. Okay. Okay. Hop house memorized. I want you to have the tune learning exercise memorized for Hot House. Okay? And I want you to be practicing Hot House now in two, in four measure and eight measure, uh, uh, like you're trading off with yourself. So leave yourself uh, empty space. So you're going to literally trade off with yourself. So you play four measures out for four measures, four measures, and out for four measures. And start trying to shape a solo that leaves something for yourself mm -hmm. when you come back in. You understand? Yeah. So so that you don't end the phrase and leave your and leave it so that it is that something you need to learn to do with, with other people?